Let us understand how to handle nulls. Nulls are typically proprietary to the underlying databases and they are treated specially. Don't get confused between null and empty string. They are significantly different. You should not be mixing up the two. Null actually means nothing. By default, if we try to add or concatenate null to another column or expression or literal, it will return null. In this case, you should be able to load the SQL and also create database underscore URL magic and then run this where we are trying to add null to one. You can see it is returning none. The reason why we are seeing none here is because of the Jupyter based environment. If you try to run this on PSQL, you will be seeing null on the screen. If you want to replace null with some default value, we can use coalesce. For example, replace commission percentage with zero if it is null. Coalesce returns first not null value if we pass multiple arguments to it. We have a function called as nullif. If the first argument is equal to second argument, it returns null. Otherwise, it returns the first argument. It is typically used when we compare against two columns where nulls are also involved. You might have seen functions like nvl, nvl2, etc. with respect to databases like Oracle. Postgres does not support them. So if you try to use nvl or nvl2, it will throw syntax errors. Now let's see an example with respect to coalesce where both of the arguments are not null arguments. It is written first not null argument which is nothing but 1. In this case we have 5 arguments. The first not null argument is 2 and hence this will return 2. Now let's drop this table called as sales if it exists. Then create this table with the 3 columns sales person id, sales amount and commission percentage. Now let's insert these 5 records. Two of the records have commission percentage as null, the record with respect to sales person ID 3 and the record with respect to sales person ID 5. Now if you try to get the commission amount by multiplying these two and then dividing by 100 with respect to these two values you will be seeing nulls. However we want to see zeros. This is how the queries will look like. First I am just displaying all the five records as part of sales. Now I can actually run this and you can see that with respect to sales person ID 3 and 5, commission amount is null. Now I can say coalesce of commission percentage comma 0. If you look at the output, you can see that with respect to 3 and 5, the commission percentage is 0 because we said coalesce commission percentage comma 0. If it is not null, it will return the value which is there as part of the commission percentage. If it is null, it will just return 0. Now if you want to get the commission amount in a correct fashion by multiplying sales amount with the coalesce of commission percentage comma zero this is how it will look like you just have to say sales amount multiplied by coalesce of commission percentage comma zero divided by 100 you have to type cast it to integers and then you have to round it off to two decimals and this is how it will look like you can see the commission amount for sales person id 3 and 5 as zeros Coalesce is a very very important function because we see nulls uh, in most of the cases with respect to our database tables and we have to deal with nulls in similar fashion and hence understanding coalesce is very very important. Now with respect to null if this is how it will look like. You can say select null if and then if you can say 1 comma 0 as both of them are not equal it returns 1. You can see here however if both of them are equal so in this case let's say null if 1 comma 1 because both of them are equal it is written null typically we use this null if as part of the where condition where we want to compare one column value with another column value sometimes these columns might have nulls and we might want to standardize the comparison that is where the null if is used so this is how we typically deal with nulls using some special functions that are provided out of the box as part of the postgres